Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to this presentation for science class. Let us sing that song that says, Deep and Wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain falling deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain falling deep and wide. Why and deep, why and deep, there's a fountain falling wide and deep. Why and deep, why and deep, there's a fountain falling, why and deep. Very good. I hope you remember to sing that song. Okay, let us have a word of prayer, closing our hands and closing our eyes. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day you are given to us. We ask your presence, our Lord, that you can be with us as we start this presentation for science class, that you can help each boy and girl to understand, give them wisdom and learn, help them to learn, and guide us in everything we do today. And we ask all of these things to learn, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Very good. We are continue studying about the animals, and today we're going to learn about the wild animals. Last week, we studied about the domestic animals, right? Well, today we're going to um, study about the wild animals. And you all can see here all the images that here. We have an elephant, we have a leopard, we have a tiger, we have a crocodile, we have a bear, we have a gorilla, lion, snake, and giraffe. All of these are wild animals. In the Bible, we find a text that says God made the wild animal and God saw that it was good. He made all the animals are according to their kind, right? And he's seen that even though um, sometimes we um, are afraid or scared, but of the animals, some of the animals, but we're supposed to be more scared about the wild animals because they are dangerous to us. Some of them, most of them are dangerous to us, but God made them and most of the wild animals are beautiful. So God made the wild animals and God saw that it was good, okay? Who made the wild animals? God made them by their tanks. Okay, where do the animals, wild animals live? Well, most of them live in the natural habitat. They live in the forest, right? So the humans is house some of them in the zoo and some of them be uncaged. Why, uh, why they catch the wild animal fur? Well, most of them is because they, we all can go and see and learn about them in the zoo, okay? So where do they live? They live in a natural habitat, okay? And why do we call wild animal? Because the word says it. They are wild, they live by their self, okay? They find their own food, they make their own shelter, they drink their own water, and all the things they need in a specific natural habitat, they do what they look for, okay? We don't need to help them. The first wild animal I have here is a hippo. What do hippo um, eat? Well, they eat, grass and plants that uh, grows in the water. And also they like to play in the water and they like to be in the water, okay? Some of them bees under the water. Also we have here elephant. What elephant eat? Well, they eat grass, they eat small plant, they eat bush, they eat fruit, and their favorite, favorite food is the tree bark. They eat that, and they eat roots too, okay? The lion, they eat birds, they eat uh, meat, okay? They eat tur turtles, they eat lizards, they eat rats, they eat uh, wild dogs, they eat also eat crocodiles, and they eat also two baby elephants, 
Wow, there is a lot of animals too, okay? Then we got a bear, what they eat. We got, remember we got different kind of bear. We got the light color brown, we got a deep color brown, and we have the white one. This one lives in the polar. Lives, but we have a lot of cold, where the weather is cold, the temperature is really cold. And also where house a lot of snow and a lot of ice, okay? So what they eat? Well, they eat um, leaves, they eat roots, berries, insects, and they eat fish, and they eat uh, fresh meat, okay? Tiger. What do tiger eat? Well, they eat deer, they eat cows, they eat herds, they eat goat, they eat buffaloes, they eat mouse, they eat deer, okay? They eat big animals. So they try to catch these big animals to eat them. They eat a lot of meat. And we go, the wolf. The wolf eats, uh, the wolf eats mouse, Okay, small little animals that run through the, through the forest, it catches them and they eat them. And also we got wolf that lives in the cold weather. You all can see here. And we got wolf that lives in the forest, okay? Okay, we got snakes. Y'all can see the green snake with white spots, yellow snake with white spots. And we got um, brown and black snake, orange and white snake, red and white snake. Wow, this one like greenish, black and brown and yellow, okay? And this one like black and white. This one is blue and gray. Look at the eyes, the eyes are red. Beautiful. Okay, what's that? What do snakes eat? Well, they eat rabbit, they eat birds, they eat insects, they eat frog, they eat earthworms too. You have the leper. Leopard, okay? They eat monkey, snakes, and birds, and they eat fish. We have the rhino. This is our last one. Okay, what's the, what they eat? Well, they eat trees and they eat bush. Activities. This is on our, on our English book, student book, and also in on our linker student book, okay? It's a look and circle, cross out. What is not the animals? Hmm. Cross out what is not the animals, hmm, okay? You all can cross out, like why the dog is wild or domestic, you go into circle. The bird is wild or domestic, you're going to circle either one of the two words. The lion is wild or domestic, you're going to circle either one of the two. The dog lives in a cage house or in the house. The bird lives in a tree or in a cage. The lion lives, it looks here like a cage, and the tree on the forest, on the out, on the natural habitat. Okay? You're going to cross out one of the pictures. And here say, trace and match, trace all the words, then you're going to match them. The polar bears live in the Arctic. They can swim, they eat fish, okay? They eat fish, remember it's this one that he eaten fish. They can swim, it's this one. And polar bear live in the Arctic, you can trace to here. 
color the wild animals, you're going to color the wild animal. We just talked about it. The crocodile, the tiger, the giraffe, and the penguin. Okay, aquí me van a colorear los animales salvajes. Aquí me van a eh, eh, trazar las, las oraciones. Y después me van a trazar una línea para eh, unir con la oración. Ok. Eh, y aquí van a circular la palabra correcta y después van a tachar una X eh, al hábitat que no es la casa de los animales. Nara Kevitens. Uh, you're going to match the image on the left, so their corresponding image on the right. And here, circle all the animals, circle all the wild animals. Aquí van a trazar una línea eh, para acá, donde corresponde el mismo animal, que sea el mismo animal. Ok. Por ejemplo, este va con este, el osito va con el oso. Y aquí van a circular en un círculo todos los animales que son salvajes. Muy bien, niños, gracias por su atención. How and kiss estoy each one of you all. May God fall you all with a lot of blessing, okay? Take care of yourself. Bye.